Hi everyone, welcome to this lesson in which we're gonna be designing a single foundation. We can start from here or we go to RC element and new and foundation. And from here we can set the geometry of this foundation. But robot can specify the correct one, the correct dimensions after the design process. So we enter a random values for here. For example, 0.6, that's good, and 0.4 for this one. H2 is this height, from here to here. And this one is 0.1, which is uh, the thickness of the layer underlying the foundation. And this is the dimensions of, the, of, this, uh, of this part, which is uh, point. Uh, for example, 0 0.6 pi, 0 0.3, which is dimensions of this column, of the column, the base of this column. And from pyre, doubled, we, if, if it was bolted, you can select it from here, but it, it's uh, doubled for this time. And for the dimensions, point. Uh, 5 and here 0.2 and apply that then close it after setting the proper dimensions we go to calculation options and from concrete we select the type of concrete that we want for example concrete 30 and for longitudinal uh, the, uh, reinforcement we select, for example, 5, 16, 18, 20. And transversal, we select, for example, uh, but grid R, um, 12, 14, 16. And additional, fourteen, for example. And for reinforcement pattern, we select from here the type of pa the pattern that we want. Uh, this one is good. It's selected. It's already selected. And power spacing, you can set that, or robot can uh, also set it as according to the type of soil and the amount of loads. And for the bios, you don't need to change anything for from here. And we ha we want connections to columns and walls, and uh, its diameter it should be 16. Number is six. We want stirrups and five stirrups. And for the shapes, the main bars should be of this shape, and that's good for reinforcement pattern. Okay next step is defining loads for example did load let's assume that it was uh, 150 kilonewtons and life load 300 kilonewtons we can also add the moment if it, if there was moment for example 10 kilonewtons and close that the last step is defining the type of soil for example, the first layer was clay gravels. You don't have to specify its thickness until you specify next layer, which is, for example, uh, rocks. Rocks. Where is rocks? Rock floor. Now you can specify the, this thickness as, for example, 1.5 meters. That's good. And uh, apply. You can also select different color for this layer and apply. Okay. Now we start calculation. As it shown here, we have selected 
the length and width to be two meters by two meters and robot has changed uh, have changed that and robot changed that and robot selected different dimensions for this thing and robot has selected different dimensions for length and width of 2 meters 40 centimeters okay now we go to foundation results from here as it shown here you can see the type of uh, layers soil layers and this is our foundation this is normal false normal force which is uh, 1630 and this is the design combinations and coefficients and from uh, foundation note you can see all calculations you can see all calculations that have taken, taken place during this process we have the basic data and geometry material also we have geotechnical design for, you can see it from here type of soil and everything everything is here a type of limit state you can print out this thing and uh, convert it uh, you can also convert it to PDF file the final thing is or the last thing is the drawing this is the drawing of this foundation okay you can go back and see the reinforcement in the 3d view This is the reinforcement. This is the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, just write it in the comments below. Bye.